And now we are turning to a current event happening next weekend in the Claire. The Buffalo Bill Wild West show is coming to town. It's a mix of history and family friendly fun. Cowboy reenactors of legends like Annie Oakley, Buck Taylor and Buffalo Bill will all be performing. There's going to be period accurate vendors, prospectors panning for gold and an extravaganza arena show. Admission is $15 for adults, $12 for seniors and eight for children under 12 years old. And joining us now to talk about this is LeClaire's Buffalo Bill Museum Executive Director, Rita Farrow. Rita, thank you so much for being here. This is such a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Shelby. And you're wearing your lovely reenactment <laughs> period clothing. <laughs> and you're going to see a lot of this up at Cody School next weekend. I love this it. This is, I know, right? Th these enactors are serious about their authentic clothing, their period correct clothing. Even when they come to set up the show, they wear like 1890s blue jeans. <laughs> so, and by the, so there will be a lot of reenactors, maybe over 100 of them, just walking the grounds. They live in Boomtown for three days. So families, there's just so much for them to see and do. The grounds open at 10.30 every morning, and we have shuttle buses, which, because we are anticipating kind of a parking problem up at Cody School. So the Riverboat Twilight, our neighbor, right down on the Mississippi River in LeClaire, so Kara Steer and her family have, uh, they have, are sponsoring three full-size school buses nice. to shuttle people up to Cody School. You can buy your ticket in advance there at the museum that day, which is your quickest way into the show. You, the bus will drop you right off at the corner and you, boom, you're gonna walk right onto the grounds. So you've got all these cowboy reenactors that are gonna be living in a boom town in Camden yes. Center for three <laughs> days. You've got horses all over the place. You have all these things going on. Talk to me about the Wild West performances that people get to check out. And I went to see this show last, myself last, last year in Manitowoc, Wisconsin in August because I wanted to see, see what it was about. And it's so well done. It is a professionally scripted and choreographed show. And it, they, they really do reenact as close to possible to his, his, be historically correct to the acts that Buffalo Bill actually performed in his show at the turn of the century. And you know, he is the reason he toured Europe for 10 years. He played before the queen twice and he depicted the American West for the rest of the world. They didn't know anything about the Wild, the wild West, but Buffalo Bill, at the turn of the century, he was, without a doubt, the most famous person on the planet. And because of this show. So they, re they reenact those acts. They, come, they do Roman writing, they do trick writing, they do side saddle, and along the way, they do present a history lesson. Like this is what the Pony Express was about. This is how people traveled in those days. Stagecoach, covered wagons. We're gonna have a Conestoga covered wagon there on the grounds. There's a militia team, which I think is, is an all-girl mili horse militia team coming from Wisconsin. So there's, I'm not even aware of all of the acts. They're writing up the program, even as we speak, Shelby. We've also got concerts <laughs> going on. you got live music. Yes, and Jordan Moore, we're just delighted, and, and Kale Bowie, two young, talented singers, are going to be presenting a pop-up concert both mornings, because as you come on the grounds, there's going to be food trucks, and there's Boomtown. A lot of those things that you mentioned, the panning for gold, and there's a rubber band shooting gallery, that's all meant for children's activities. The, and the, the reenactors bring all of that with them. I keep calling them the cowboys. I right, right. <laughs> well, we got to mention to people, there is not going to be alcohol allowed because this yes. is taking place at it's Cody a, Elementary yeah. in LeClaire. We also want you to keep your dogs at home. There's going to be a ton of horses going, <laughs> walking all over the place just exactly. for safety reasons. But, you know, I wanted to ask you what all of this is raising money for. And it's the Buffalo Bills Museum. This is the first time we've attempted anything like this, but it will be uh, if, I mean, if this goes well, this, and so far, the interest has just been extraordinary. There's an ad running on Facebook that has over 100,000 views. And I think people are really excited about seeing living history. And it's something that we would like to do. You know, you've been kind enough to have us on here. We promoted some very small events, Women in History tea, Afternoon Teas, with 30, 40 people. They've gone really well. We'd like to do that on a monthly basis. But once a year, if you're calling yourself the Buffalo Bill Museum, maybe you should just have a big fundraiser for yourself and call it the Buff Buffalo Bill Brings the Wild West Home. So it's Amazing. for the museum. Amazing. You can get your tickets online or at the gate. Yes, and you can buy at the gate, and you could buy that morning. If you're going to get on the shuttle bus right in front of the museum, you can buy your ticket that day, and then when you get off the bus, you can just walk right in. Easy peasy. Oh, right? Yeah. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> back on. Thank you, Shelby. It's been a pleasure. And hey, for you guys at home, this Wild West show is happening next weekend in LeClaire. For a link to tickets or to see a full schedule of events, you can head over to our website. Just click on the As Seen on TV 